Hey guys, this is Dan Splains. Um, thank you for all the likes and comments on the yoke out video. Um, uh, one, my, my brother, Sherbert Junction, said, uh, behind the scenes documentary, please. So I'm going to take you guys behind the vertical blinds here. And show you how some of the special effects in the yoga video were made. Okay, let's go. Here we are. Here we are. This is my private area where I do my projects behind the vertical blinds. This is my shoot through LED light system that I made. It's a little, it's a little janky, but um, you can see it's suspended here from these clamps from my desk. I just, it's like with rope and this, this thing spreads the ropes apart. It's a shelf that I found under the sink. It's like organizer and it holds this LED donut. Um, I got these LEDs out of the trash from the illuminated menu sign of a Chinese food restaurant. Uh, I just pried them out with a screwdriver, so those were free. They're really bright. They're great. I use them for a lot of stuff. Um, this is a sled that I made. It's a smoothly rolling sled on a dolly track. Um, and you can see this, this piece here is pretty expensive. I got a great deal on it. These were 10 bucks. Uh, I got them used. Um, they're pretty, pretty high tech though. And they roll along this aluminum corner guard that I got out of the trash at the Martha Stewart TV studio in Manhattan. They were throwing out these pieces of aluminum. I have a couple of different lengths that I use. Um, so this is what it looks like when I have a DSLR and shooting through the LED donut. Uh, the track rolls underneath the camera. And that's how I get that smooth, smooth shot. These are eggs. Um, this is this is my triple tape dispenser. This is the best thing that I own. It was $25 on Uline. It's indispensable for having all your tapes close and ready at hand when you need them for marking, marking things. And, uh, the next effect I want to talk about is this LED, like this shimmering lights um, transition thing. It's pretty simple. Uh, I figured it out looking through my plexi card stack that I have. I've talked about these before. I love these plexi cards. But what you do is you just put the camera right up to them and you look at your LED array. These are the same LEDs that I used for my donut. Um, and you just kind of move over the LEDs and yeah. And this is the same principle, but with colorful LED lights and a different piece of plexiglass. I'm going to show you how I do it here. I got these LED lights out of somebody's kitchen that I was working on. They were getting renovated and they were like, it's kind of a trashy modern apartment with like under the counter glowy lights. So they were getting rid of those and I got them pretty good. And I have this half inch piece of plexiglass that I got out of the garbage when I was helping my ex-girlfriend move about five years ago. I would use it for a lot of stuff plexiglass really incredible miracle material so yeah it's on the edge there and you can see it's glowing and you just look down inside the plexiglass with the camera and you're looking at the the inside walls reflecting the led lights and it just slide along the top there and yeah that's that's how that's made it's kind of incredible really beautiful effect uh very simple to do. It relies a lot on the camera that you're using. I'm using an iPod, iPad here. It would work really good with your phone. Works with your phone if you've got enough room on there to shoot a video. Um, I'm using a pretty old iPad that I got for 50 bucks used. Uh, it it kind of goes on the internet, but it's it's mostly just good for making videos. Um, so yeah, your phone or an iPad it interprets light in a really interesting way. 
and um, you got the LEDs changing color down there, creating this infinity mirror effect on the inside walls of the plexiglass. And yeah, that's it. Um, so let me know if you guys use any of these effects on your own videos, and please like and subscribe. This is Dan Splains.